The death of a man in Illinois is the first link to e-cigarettes, but it's part of a chilling surge in people getting severe lung disease, leaving some of them on ventilators. Tessa DeTiro is at the Hamilton County Health Department with the warning parents need to hear. Tessa. Well, Paula, the symptoms that health officials are telling us about tonight are kind of like the flu, nausea, vomiting, and weight loss. But these symptoms are so mysterious, and it's such a new diagnosis, that Cody Slagle of Lachlan says he went to two different hospitals before he was diagnosed. Cody Slagle says he put down a pack of cigarettes and picked up a jewel. It made me feel good, which was weird. Three years later, he was laying in a hospital bed. My uh, like chest and my, my lungs, I guess, were like inflamed. I guess they could tell that, I guess, it must have been from a vape. Cody's symptoms mimic the warning the Ohio Department of Health issued today. I just thought it was just maybe, you know, food poisoning or some kind of illness. But then, you know, when it starts leading to the point where my phone is getting too heavy to pick up, then I kind of knew something was wrong. Dr. Steve Fagans thinks doctors have been missing a lot of these cases because they haven't been asking this question. Do you vape? Looks like a pneumonia. In fact, many of these folks have probably been treated for pneumonia only to realize this is an inhalational lung injury. Six cases are now being investigated in Ohio. I'm the first case in, in the sense of the area where this is happening to. I know that, um, but I would believe that there's probably more cases <clears throat> just like mine in the state of Ohio. Vape advocates think these cases are not caused by e-cigarettes and liquids you can buy in a vape shop. Nearly all of that evidence points to illegal street bought THC or other illegal drug containing cartridges as being the cause of these severe illnesses. If it's not FDA approved and who knows what kind of nicotine they're getting it, where they're getting it from, like we won't carry any kind of house blend because of things like that. The illness, Cody says, is enough to give it up for good. The day when I went to Bethesda North and I found out that I had a pneumonia, I took my jewel, I took my wife's jewel and I chucked them in the trash because I have a daughter that I just had back in January. You know, she, she needs me more than a jewel needs me. I did reach out to the Jewel Company tonight for comments. They did not respond. At Hamilton County Health Department, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Paula, back to you. Thank you, Tessa. Ohio is already trying to curb teen vaping. Starting October 1st, you'll need to be 21 to buy e-cigarettes and the liquid.